Welcome to Victoria Falls, the adventure capital of Africa. adventurous capital of Africa but listen I am not adventurous I travel within Africa to admire the beauty of the continent and I have only one word to describe the city it's a paradise it's like it's raining but it, it, it's not raining it's just some um, the water splashing down splashing down then coming up like a smoke yes yes From Ghana, Zimbabwe was just Harare. That's all I knew. I don't know about you. Do you know any other city apart from the popular Harare that we all know? But hey, there is more to Zimbabwe. I was scrolling through my messages on Instagram when I saw this guy right here. His name is Rutoka, your number one plug in Vic Falls. Told me about a city that I never knew it existed. After researching about this beautiful city, I was so excited to the extent that I wish I was a magician that day just to teleport myself and immerse my beautiful body inside the beautiful Vic Falls. If you ever want to drive in Zimbabwe from Harare to Vic Falls, know that Zimbabwe got you covered because the country got one of the best roads that I've ever used in so many countries that I've been to. But hey, I couldn't wait. So I had to book my ticket that evening and that is when FastJet came in. Quick one, FastJet is an award-winning value airline in Zimbabwe. They fly domestically. So imagine if you're in Harare and you want to go to Bulawayo, you know that they got you covered. If you want to go to Vic Force, you are definitely covered. But if you also want to fly internationally, FastJet got you covered. You can fly from Harare to Johannesburg or even Johannesburg to Vic Force. I mean, fast jet is fast. It's been too we arrived very late in Vic Falls and to my surprise, Bano Hotel came through for us. They hosted me and my entire team in this beautiful resort. And for the very first time, I slept so comfortably like a baby and I woke up very well rested in a magical paradise. Zimbabwe is not perfect, but indeed, Zimbabwe is not what I expected. Thank you. Welcome to the beautiful Zimbabwe, where we pride ourselves with hospitality and the tourism hub, the wonderful, majestic Victoria Falls. Victoria Falls is the home of the Zambezi, the Mosi Oyatunya, the smoke that thunders. And we're so happy and proud to have you here with us. We're super excited to take you on a journey as you experience the wonderful nature of Victoria Falls. I do hope you get to enjoy the Big Five, hopefully, and of course, the majestic showers from the Zambezi and of course the beautiful women and friendly people all together. You all know about
about the majestic Victoria Falls. But do you know the source of this beauty? Hi guys, welcome to the Zambezi. This is the Zambezi River. We are in Victoria Falls and right across is the Livingstone. So this is Africa's fourth longest river after the Nile, Niger and the Congo. This is about uh, 2,600 kilometers. It starts all the way in northern Zambia, right? Goes through Angola, comes through uh, the border between Botswana, Zimbabwe, Zambia and Namibia, which is the quadra point where four countries meet. Then comes all the way down, there's some nice lodges as you come down to, to, to where we are right now, which is a kilometer from the smoke that thunders, the Mosi Oyatunya. So this is a beautiful river. At the Mosi Oyatunya, it's just over halfway between the source and the Indian Ocean where it, where it goes out. From here, it goes all the way through Kariba, the largest man-made lake on the planet. Then it goes further, Manapuz, uh, Kanyemba, goes to Mozambique, then it goes all the way to the Indian Ocean. Whoa! Have you seen anything like this before? This is indeed the smoke that really turned us. In Zimbabwe, in Zambia, they have the same name that they call it. Mosi Onya Chunya. seven wonders of the world, the biggest waterfall in the entire world. This can only be found in Africa. You know how I'm super excited? Because it makes me feel like God took his time to create the continent Africa. I feel like crying, yeah? Come closer. Don't tell me this is not beautiful, bro. I am super happy to be here and I just can't wait to share my excitement with you all. Whoa! Oh my God! Oh my goodness! It also has rainbow. You can see rainbows everywhere, bro. Tell me more about Mosi Onyatunya. Yeah, man, you know what? More than the rainbows, if you come here when the moon is full, you can see moonballs. Whoa! Yes, breathtaking, I know. I know. <laughs> So this is the Victoria Falls, guys. A peak season, 2.1 million liters per second, up to 2.1 million liters per second. The biggest sheet of falling water in the world will be coming down right here. All those rocks you see will be fully covered in water. Imagine that. Imagine that. Ah, man. God is, God is amazing. Africa is beautiful, man. God is amazing. And I'm going to repeat again. Yeah. When God was creating the world, he made sure that everything is in Africa. Yeah. So for you to partake and be part of the world, you need to come to Africa. Civilization started in Africa, whether they like it or not. And this is why you can find such things on the continent of Africa, bro. And just like water, you know, you've got a flag when you come to this part of the world, man. Rutoka, your boy. This is what we do, this is what we do, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is my city. I was born here. Uh, I can't get enough of this. I can't get enough of this. All I want to say is that Welcome to Mosi Oyatuna! Goodness. No way. Listen, Zimbabwe is a hidden game. L let me tell you something. Before you die, yeah, take it upon yourself, book that flight ticket, and come visit Zimbabwe. Look at that beautiful sunset right on my face. You can only get this in Africa. You can't get this anywhere. I mean, sunset together with a river and people are busy cruising on the river but Africans are saying that you cannot have fun in Africa is everything okay with us I'm sorry I need to shout because 
whatever I'm saying and whatever I'm saying is coming straight from the heart. It's like I'm in the spirit just to let you know that it's a blessing to be from Zimbabwe. It's a blessing to come from a place like this and it's time for us to appreciate it. I'm going to tell every African today, if you have ever booked a ticket to go to Dubai, to go to Europe for vacation on behalf of Zimbabweans, cancel it. I'll pay for your ticket. Just come and experience this beauty. I don't know why, man. I hardly do this, but this is the only country that anytime I want to talk about the country, I start crying because we never had any good thing about Zimbabwe. They lied to us and they've done a great job in a way that even Zimbabwe themselves are not willing to tell good stories about their country. I mean, some of you are even saying I've been paid, which means that I get paid in every country that I go to. Everything that I'm doing in this country, I'm using my own money to tell you guys that it's time to explore your own country. Go out there, go live your life, go learn something new and make sure you explore. And whenever you're exploring your own country, don't forget the almighty Zambezi River. There's a lot you can do in here. But the only thing you cannot do here is to swim in this river. Let me know what you think after seeing this because I don't think the camera is doing justice to what my naked eyes is seeing. God bless Africa. God bless Zimbabwe. And God bless this city. Sorry. Thank you. I know you all are getting emotional. Don't be emotional. Wadamaya can be so emotional. But let me educate you a bit about Victoria Falls. Because I know most of you are wondering why the name Victoria. Even me, I was mad when I got to know that. Mosi Onyatunya has another name which is called Victoria Falls. Which is even more famous than the actual name of the falls. This is how the falls <laughs> Who is this? This is uh, David Livingstone. Um, he's a Scottish guy who traveled to the Victoria Falls in 1855. So he was basically a storyteller, travel blogger, if you want to call it, if you had to modernize the term. So he was um, the first person from outside Africa to see the falls or to be recorded to see the falls. Okay. So he's the one who basically wrote about the falls and told the rest of the world uh, the falls. I know some people say he discovered the falls, but that's not that's not <laughs> that's not factually correct. When when he visited in 1855, he was a guest of, of the local chief of the local uh, chief, right? Thank you. And he was taken around by a guide or a guy who was known as Rai Kane. It's actually a boat named after the guy. Mm. So it's 1855. He was assigned a royal aid, as you'd want to call it who took him around, and that's the person who took him to this particular place. This place was like a monument, a sacred monument for the local community. Mm -hmm. So they took him here, because apparently when he came, the Queen Mother was ill. I'm not sure if it was malaria or another disease, and David Livingstone had medicine that helped the Queen Mother. So obviously the king then said, I'll give you royal treatment and whatnot. So that's how we got to see the falls. And um, that's how, you know, some people claim that he discovered the falls. But um, I can I tell you that. Did yeah. he discover the falls? Of course not. He didn't discover the falls. I mean, Rai Kane showed him here, showed him this place. This was already a local monument. And before that, before the Lozi, the Tonga came here, the Sen people, there's archaeological evidence that in indicates that the, the Sen also inhabited this part of the place. So he was by no means uh, the first person to see the falls. I think we need to start retelling our own stories as Africans because when you go to places like this and you see a monument like this celebrating the colonizer, for me, it's kind of sad because I've been to Livingston, mm -hmm. the Zambia side, mm -hmm. so that place is called Livingston, and mm -hmm. the statue is there claiming uh -huh. that he discovered uh -huh. it. And I am in uh, Victoria Falls, even, uh -huh. I don't know why this place is called <laughs> Victoria, but yeah, it is what it is. This is Africa. I can't wait to be the leader of the Most continent. Most you are at I'll, I'll make sure I'll change everything, man. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, forgive me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'll, I'll still change it. And since he was the first European to see the falls, he tricked the whole world that, hey, 
I discovered a new force in Africa. Let me put the reigning queen's name on it, hence the name Victoria Force. But if you go to the neighboring country, which is Zambia, there is a city in there called Livingston, which is also the name of the same guy claiming that he discovered the force. Let's do this in the comment section. Let me know if you think the name Victoria Falls needs to be changed. I mean, personally, I think Africans got a lot of mental revolution work to do because we can't be having things in Africa named after our colonizers, people that killed our ancestors. You know what? That's another conversation for another day. Victoria Falls is not just the falls, but this beautiful falls is also a city. I've traveled so many cities across Africa and I, I must confess that this is the smallest city I've ever come across. What's the population of this city? Well, my guy, we are plenty. 40,000 people. Come on! <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm no, serious. No, no way. 40,000 people. Yes. That's a lot of people. No. Why? And where are the people? Where are the 40,000 people? The 40,000 people. Some of them are here in town, some of them are at work, some of them are at the soccer stadium watching soccer. But most people live. Um... I'm so sorry, bro. Okay. He just wanted. Hi, how are you? Good, good, and how are you? Good. I saw your reaction. It's like you watch my videos, maybe. Yeah, I do watch you on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> are you from Big Falls? <laughs> yes, I'm from Big Falls. You know so what? I saw your video when you were coming into Zim and you had challenges at the border there. Wow. And you were complaining that you don't want that happening in African countries. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, since you are from Big Falls, I'm posting this video on YouTube. Tell me what you think I need to know about Big Falls, or the world needs to know about Big Falls. They need to know that Big Falls is uh, actually a, a good town, um, good uh, place to re uh, relax, good space uh, to rethink about life and uh, find new dynamics of life. Uh, you will see the falls, you will see the animals, you will see the good people. Um, it's a good place. They should come and see. An experience for themselves. Please tell him there's 40,000 people here. This guy doesn't <laughs> Yeah, estimate of that, I, I, of that amount. I, I can count the number of people here, and there are no more than 1,000. Uh, <laughs> I'll take you to Chino Team by Johnny. 1,000 people. Let's go to Chino. <laughs> tell me about your city, the city of Vic Falls. It's a beautiful, small city where everyone knows everyone, everyone knows everyone's business. <laughs> We love that for us, so we are a tight community. Wow. Yeah. What makes Victoria Falls special is the diversity in our culture, firstly housed by the Tonga people. Now Victoria Falls carries over five different people with five different languages and cultures, the Tonga, the Nambia, the Leia, the Nyanjas, the Ndevelas, the Shonas. We are all here living in harmony, loving each other, being friendly with one another and helping ourselves build each other, not only just as Zimbabweans, but as Africans as a whole. <laughs> It's the exact bridge that separates the two countries, Zimbabwe and Zambia. I was here two years ago. I mean, I was at the Zambian side flying my drone on top of Victoria Falls, and I saw this same bridge that separates the two countries. So I wanted to get a shot just to let you all know that this bridge is so important to the people of Zambia and Zimbabwe. But when I was flying my drone, I had low battery, and my drone landed in Zimbabwe. So I had to come here to get my drone, man. And listen, I don't know why Africa is like this. So going to Zambia, they say you need a passport. When you're going to Zimbabwe, you also need a passport. But I have my brother here and I want him to tell us more about this bridge. My brother, get closer. Yeah. What can you tell us about this bridge? Yeah, this bridge, man, it's a, it's a feat of engineering, massive engineering. It's a gem in this part of the world. Uh, this, this bridge was built in 1905. You know, our brothers, Zambia, Zimbabwe, or one people. So we needed something to connect us to what? To trade. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So you see the car 
passing. <laughs> it's Karen goes to uh, Zimbabwe and the yes. bridge was shaking, man. I felt like I was falling down. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, it, it's physics. It's part of the suspension thing. Okay, I don't remember much from class. But anyway, uh, this field was uh, built in 1905, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so what happened before it was successfully completed? They brought in the, the structure from Europe. It was assembled here and it didn't come together. It didn't join together. So there was an error with the measurements. So they had to go back to the drawing board, make adjustments and then put it back up. Mm. So it took, a, it took quite a few years to build this and in 1905 it was completed. And what you see right over there, and maybe oh. I'll show you when you get a chance, that hotel, that's the old, oldest hotel in Victoria Falls. Okay. And when the bridge was built, this was the campsite where the workers that were working on this bridge, that's where they were staying. Wow. So when the world got to know about the Victoria Falls, then guys were like, no, why not, why not do something? Else? So that hotel has hosted celebrities. Queen Elizabeth, millionaires, billionaires, there's an interesting story. Right? Yeah, it will soon host one of my That's how it would. Interview yeah, this guy. I'm closer. Good. Oh, oh, what do you mean? No, you need to hold this part. Ah, from I kid you not. No, literally. No, I can't be holding those. What am I? Yeah. Welcome to Zimbabwe. Thank you so much. I'm no, so glad that you never said welcome to Zambia. Oh, no. We are in Zimbabwe. Okay. Oh, you're entering Zambia, so. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we just yeah. ran to Zambia, uh, yeah? That's Zambia, but okay. well, I'm but Zimbabwe and at this point we can stand like this. <laughs> okay, then let's go, Mr. So this is right. going to be on YouTube, like yeah. seriously. This okay. guy is YouTube, he has one million followers, I'm serious. <laughs> Book him, he's called Wajimai. Literally, he's Ghana. No, he speaks Chinese, literally I know almost everything about him. What's up? Where's Miss Trudy? Come I on, I'm following you. Alone. I came alone, I came alone. Man, how's Zimbabwe though? Zimbabwe has been awesome, bro. Really? Yeah, it's been um, 10 days. Days. I'm really enjoying, enjoying it. Have you been to Harare? Yeah, I was in Harare. Did you go to Bulawayo? I was in Bulawayo. Did you go outside Bulawayo? Yeah, no. Okay. I went to Great Zimbabwe, Bulawayo, and now I'm in Big Falls. In Big Falls. We have a landmark that will tell you that you probably want to visit. Probably it's Matopo. Matopo, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, actually go, I'm actually going back to Bulawayo, yeah. and then I was spent like two days in two Matopo. Days. Matopo has a lot. Matopo, um, yeah. yeah, you will see a lot, but well, it's colonial history, unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately, but well, you'll never face it. Yo! That much, I'm sure. But it's, it's, it's well, a lovely uh, country. Uh, well, I mean, are you from Are you from here? I'm from Zim, yeah. Are you from, I mean, uh, no, Bulawayo? No, from Bulawayo. From Bulawayo. I'm visiting, yeah. Actually, from, actually, yeah. just for, 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 for your guys' benefit, right? Yeah. Matopo is colonial history. Yeah. But. but but yeah. there is colonial history, yeah. but it goes deeper than that. Absolutely. So all the history of this country is yeah. in Matoba, yeah. right? 3,000 years, yeah. same painting. Exactly. The biggest concentration you is You'll see, it, this is a big, most of it is got, but you, if you get into the caves, you yeah, learn yeah, of yeah, the, yeah. The, the, how Africans we have lived, and yeah, you'll see a lot, even the melting of them, what you call this, Jobs that we used to do with uh, what you call mud and all that, you know, smearing iron and all yeah, that. Yeah, you should yeah, be able to yeah. see that where we come from. Unfortunately, we don't document such stuff. I'm not uh -huh. sure as Africans, we're not proud, whatever the case might be. Yeah. But this we'll guy is so team. passionate about Zimbabwe. No, yeah. I'm, I'm Zimbabwean, man. Yeah, I'm African. Yeah, yeah, I don't go around telling people I'm Zimbabwean. Yeah. I'm African. You have a message for Africans? I think I've spoken at some point, you did a live. Yeah. And uh, I spoke about. Um, we need education, we need to do with um, employment, we need to do with um, being proud to be Africans, man. I was, I, I'll tell you, I was in Italy, and I was in the UK, I will kid you not, it's not like, it's, it's good, it's great. But well, Africa is good, bro. Well, Africa is good. I tell you all Africans, I can't tell you come back, but well, all Africans, you need to be united. You need to enjoy the good of them. Of the land. Mm. This is a good place. You have Southern Africa, you have Western Africa, you have Eastern Africa, Central Africa, Northern Africa. There's a lot to see, to be quite honest. Mate, I'm so happy. I, I couldn't be any prouder. I need a selfie. <laughs> this, I don't post on WhatsApp, but today I'm posting because I met you. <laughs> I hope you all 
enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed filming this video. Vic Force is heavenly and I'm looking forward to see you all in Vic Force. Listen, if you go to Vic Force, take a picture and tag me. Final fun fact. Don't forget that when this bridge was constructed, the first thing that passed on this bridge from Zimbabwe to Zambia was a leopard. I know even Zimbabweans don't know this. Thank me later, yeah? Like this video and uh, make sure you subscribe and be part of this channel. What followed after the leopard? It was not a human being, but rather a train. And the next thing that followed was what a Maya.